Hey guys, okay, so here is another one of the tilapia. This is the big one that I got. Uh, eight more little ones have gone into the bathtub system now that made it out of quarantine. This is the first big one that bit the dust. It's been uh, dead for at least a day. Uh, smells pretty bad. Uh, my voice may smell a little, uh, may sound a little strange because, um, yeah, I've got these cotton buds stuck up my nose to keep from the smell. So yeah, this is what it looks like. We we'll take a look at the gills. That's the gills in there okay on the one side there's a little bit of fish blood around he's been dead for at least a day floating around lost some scales but i think that was mostly because of uh, mostly because of the water falling on him firman bhai uthaye isko niche se ye niche se kaat de pura okay we're going to start this tilapia autopsy and see what's wrong with him को कोशिश करें इस इस लाल चीज़ के ऊपर ही रखें और नज़र में भी आएगा और ताकि मैं भी उसे देख सकूं ओके दिस इज प्रिटी मच द वन दैट हैड द ओके दैट्स द इन साइड ऑफ हेम ओ गुड गॉड दैट कॉन्ट बी राइट दैट स्मेल्स दैट लुक्स प्रिटी बैड प्रिटी डार्क टैंक दिस आई डाउट ऑफ दिस फिश हैड वेरी हेल्दी ईटिंग हैबिट्स वाल इट वॉज इन द लेक दिस इज द मीट ऑफ हेम दिस इज द कंक ऑफ हेम दैट स्टार्ट टू टेक आउट दैट कंक ये अपने एक हाथ पे पहन लें प्लास्टिक की पहले राजी भाई ओके दैट्स द कंक एंड बाइल दैट आई हैव गॉट आउट ऑफ एम टू टॉस दैट साइड दीज आर आई गेसिंग हिज गिल्स देर सेम प्रिटी फाइन आई बी एट दिस इज दम ऑन द आउटसाइड एंड दिस इज हाउ दे लुक ऑन द इन साइड सो दैट्स अबाउट हाउ that looks uh, let's look at his face for just a second which i should have shown you earlier there should be a big bruise here uh, okay i don't see it but i'm pretty sure that one of these marks on his front is a bruise where he had lost uh, where he got the uh, where he got the hook put into him or uh, is the one with this is his mouth it looks pretty pretty good uh, or ye cheeze bhi kaat ke dekhi raja ho gaya i'm going to see if i can get in a little bit deeper and him se pura kaatne alag karne do hisson mein karne i'm going to just uh, first take the head off yeah, this fish goes into the trash you guys doesn't go into any food or anything isko bhi aadhe mein kaatte hain pura let's just cut it in mm-hmm. half and see nahi is the lambai mein i'm having my driver help me out because uh, yeah i can't hold the camera and cut the fish at the same time i'm not exactly a big fan of dead things either so uh, it helps out so this fish had been in the system for i think about 3 or 4 days it had seemed fine i hadn't fed them yet the others are going to get fed there's still two more big fish upstairs in the bathtub system you can check out uh, my update from this weekend sunday's update and um, have a look at what they look like is one shot now oh god scales flying everywhere god oh, is a dead fish scale on my arm Ugh. all right this is what he looks like hardly but i'd say a healthy healthy look of the meat not very thick this is the outside of him so you can see he has lost a few scales because of that this is there was the touch bit of this but i think this is just uh, the color of the gills there's no real reddening around there for me to think about nitrite or nitrate poisoning this is the other end of him and yeah the tail shows no evidence of being eaten but i took some of the smaller smaller ones out of that quarantine and put them in and one of them is missing a good bit of his tail it's been eaten and what not okay this is getting deeper into the fish so yeah that's about what the dead motherfucker looks like Okay you guys thanks for watching let me know if uh, any of you have any idea why this fish died and uh, I hope you appreciate me showing you a fish autopsy autopsy stinky flies everywhere so thanks for watching and if you uh, yeah if you think it was worth seeing this go apart and you learned something from it about your tilapia do click the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching guys cheers hey guys if you're wa- wondering about um where that tilapia that you just saw getting gutted and cut apart came from this are its uh, were its living conditions i'm got eight little tilapia in there and two big ones still around uh, lost a whole load of the little tilapia this is the first you can see a couple of pieces of bread ones down there and ones up there um, i've just put these in just a minute ago 
and this is the first time the tilapia have been given any bread since I got them. I tried giving them the pellets while they were in quarantine, they didn't seem interested. Little ones are pecking away at it and it's pretty positive but while I was transferring them I noticed a bunch of them are missing fins and bits of their tails and since there's eight of them I think only four of them are really um, perfectly healthy and all that. Okay, so there they're, they're starting to go for it. The big ones still really don't seem interested. Uh, maybe they'll have a crack at it when I'm not around. There's one more. So there's eight of them here. And uh, of course, this is hooked up to my bathtub aquaponic system, which hasn't been planted out yet, but the basil's taken, uh, taken hold there. And the other aquaponic system. Oh, just a bit to show off while I'm right here. Here's that nice big sponge gourd. I think I'm going to take him off today. I have a nice big Armenian cucumber here. And I've got another really nice Armenian, a couple of really nice Armenian cucumbers back here. So the system is really powering around. Oh, I've just, I've forgotten, I just gave it a bit of seaweed extract a little bit ago. So there's a tilapia in here, a little one, maybe a two, two and a half inches, that you can't make out right now because of the dark water, thanks to the seaweed extract. Uh, my bad guy, sorry. But um, yeah, he is missing a fin and almost all of his tail. So um, I don't know if he's going to make it or not or if he's going to allow my goldies to make it or not. Let's hope that uh, these fish can make it here and hopefully in a few months I can have some healthy tilapia. Thanks for watching you guys. Remember to rate. Cheers.